Pastor Hector had asked me to share uh, about rest and really in the middle of this craziness, uh, the Lord uh, really wants us to learn how to serve and love and rest uh, out of his goodness and not in a state of exhaustion. Uh, I, I feel like uh, with this pandemic, everybody goes, I'm, I'm just exhausted. And, and so many times we haven't even been able to leave our house. Finally, uh, things have uh, lightened up here in Chile a little bit. And so we're actually at the beach uh, taking two weeks just to rest. And, and enjoy family. And so this has been lovely. My, all my children are surfers. And so they're just in surf heaven here uh, in Pichilemu. Look that up on afterwards. Pich, Pichilemu is a great place to surf. And so I want to be talking about Psalm 3 today. And this is a crazy one. Psalm 3 is when, when David was fleeing from his son Absalom. I mean, Absalom wanted to destroy him. And so we have this, this situation and, and, and talk about pandemic to the max, uh, your own son wanting to destroy you. If that's not a pandemic, uh, yeah, I don't know what is. Uh, and so it starts out, says, Lord, how many are my foes? How many up against me? Many are saying to me, God will never deliver. Uh, and like I said, uh, it seems like we're looking at so many different types of political situations, health situations. We're like, we're like surrounded by enemies. And, and the, it's obvious that the pandemic is not going to disappear in, in the next week. And so we see all of these obstacles in, in our life. And, and I even feel like the secular world is saying, and not even God's going to save us this time. This is the end. And so, you know, putting in perspective what David was thinking, and I think many followers of Jesus are feeling as well. I don't, I don't even know what's going to come. And then you see this word, Shela, which is a Hebrew word. And it actually has a lot to do with music. And those who know my family, all of my children are musicians. They, they have uh, albums out all over the place and videos, but it literally means stop. It means to pause. Uh, it, even that song was beautiful. That, you know, just breathe, take a breath, and reconsider everything that's coming. And so uh, you'll see in the Psalms this word is used so many times. And even though it is a musical term, many people think. I think it's also a spiritual term for us to just slow down, to think and, and, and see what is going to come. And, and when I think about pausing, in, at least in my life, uh, when I have to just say, stop, slow down, um, rethink things, uh, I use this verse to reinterpret so many things in 2 Corinthians 10, 5, it says, we demolish arguments of every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought and make it obedient to the truth. I think today more than ever, as we are bombarded by social media, why we are bombarded by all kinds of, of facts and lies, we need to pause more and more often and take captive every one of those thoughts and say, is this true? Does this have anything to do with the truth that is found in the God we serve, in the good, good father that we have, and, and rethink them? constantly. I think it's more important than ever because, as I said, we are so, so bombarded. The verse continues to say, is Psalm 3 says, but you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, 
the one who lifts my head high. And, and again, as, as we are bombarded by lies and, we, and people are saying, nobody's going to save you, not even God can save you, I think we can take that thought captive and we can raise our head up again. He's the raiser. He's our glory. He raises the lifter of our head. And in Zephaniah 3.17, it says, The Lord, your God, is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. And his love will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. And, and, and so many times uh, when I'm bombarded by evil, bombarded by thoughts that have nothing to do with the king, uh, I just envision our good, good father singing over us, singing protection, singing goodness, singing love, and that rest comes about in a special way. It says, I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. And again, pause, reflect, think about the goodness of our father you know, when I lay down. And so I, th I think as we think about these things, we can come into a spirit of rest instead of serving out of urgency, instead of serving out of crazy situations, we simply can pause and rest and live for him, because there's no better place than to be in his hands, in his arms, in his good and perfect will for us. Obviously, we're of the same spirit. Uh, Laura put a verse that I also uh, had in, this, in the thought. I'll say it again, Matthew 11, 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest in your souls. Once again, as we take on the yoke of a good father, as Jesus, a brother, walks alongside us, and the Holy Spirit leads us into all truth, we can find rest. We can just be, be so, so thankful. It says, I will not fear, though ten thousand tens of thousands assail me on every side again that rest in Yahweh that rest in our father uh, um, here in, in Chile we're very active with helping people out and 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 as I as I go to the church and food boxes are being prepared uh, there's just a spirit of resting in our father and there's a joy in serving not out of urgency, not out of a, a stressful type of situation. Let's get this all packed and let's get out of here. There's a trust and there's a joy and rest in serving him and meeting so many needs. Not a, not a look of fear on any of the people that, that are actively serving in, in, in this way. Uh, then it goes on to say, arise, Lord, Deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. I think in this case, that's what we should be saying about COVID-19. Arise, Father. Destroy this wicked pandemic that is affecting so many people. Hey, ask him. Call out his name and ask him to destroy those things. Hey, says, for the Lord, from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. Again, just a rest and a trust in him. Uh, Isaiah 40, 31 says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, and they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint, <clears throat> excuse me. And so I, once again, this waiting, those who rest in the Lord, their strength will be renewed and they will grow again in, in 
faith and power and the opportunity to serve and rest and love those who don't have the same hope that we have. Uh, Second Chronicles 2017 says, you will not need to fight in this battle. Stand firm, hold your position, and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, and the Lord will be with you. Exodus 14, 13 says, And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. Promises from our Father that the work of salvation, the work of the destruction of enemies depends completely on us resting in him, standing in him, being firm in him in those ways. Isaiah 30, I wanted to share also, it says, Thus say the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel. In returning and rest, you will be saved. In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Salvation comes from resting in him. Salvation and, and healing comes from trust and resting in him alone. And so as we think about these opportunities, I just want to encourage all these precious people that are listening today that we can do so much through resting, through standing firm in him, allowing him to do his good and perfect will in our lives. You can hear everyone saying the opposite, that this time, this is, this is going to be such a destruction. I believe and I pray that this will be a time of tremendous revival. I believe that people will come into the kingdom as a result of seeing our good, good father do his perfect will as we rest mm -hmm in him and allow him to use us for his glory so be blessed thank you for this opportunity may you rest in him may may this peace shalom be upon each and every one of you thank you yeah thank you so much would you mind just open this up in prayer as we go into our time of prayer just lead us as you feel led to pray for us right now pray as you feel led to pray jeff and then the rest of us will, will pray as we feel led after Jeff finishes his prayer. Oh, Father, uh, we can see the enemies or we can put our focus on a good, good father, Yahweh. Good, good father. And I just pray that that blessing that each and every one of my precious brothers and sisters, when they are attacked by the multitude of lies that are out there, they may take captive every one of those thoughts and submit it to the truth of your word, the truth that your spirit speaks into our lives so that they may walk in rest, in peace, in shalom, in goodness. The home church, may they continue to be a, a refuge for people that have believed so many lies. May, your, may it be a place of rest and encounter with the truth of a good, good father. Yeshua, walk alongside every one of my precious brothers and sisters. And Holy Spirit, Continue to lead us all in truth for your glory. Amen.